So in this video, we're going to be looking at some infected reviews. If you don't know what the infected is, it's a survival game. It's open world, it has different seasons. And I've been making content for this game for a little while now. So we're going to look at some of the reviews of what people think and why they don't like it. So let's jump right into it. So all I'm doing is filtering it by most recent and then I'll be filtering it by most negative. This person says, so addicting, hope it opens to a multiplayer. I dig the AI system. I don't think multiplayer is coming. They do have 120 hours. I don't think the multiplayer is coming. And AI system seems pretty cool. It's just still really buggy. Um, the game is just too much fun. Love it. This person has nearly 500 hours. Probably 500 hours by now. Uh, this person has not even an hour. Is that one hour? No, not even an hour. And they said no co-op. No multiplayer, so it's just boring. These games, as a single player, are disgusting. That's mean. Like, someone wants to make a single player game. Let them make one. Most realistic survival game I have played yet. Absolutely awesome. That's great. This person has a huge one. This person has only five hours. Everything is so tedious. Nothing happens while you're traveling. Yeah, it does. Attack by bears all the time. So it's super boring. Same scenery and landscape through the whole map basically. You need to grind for hours before you can even make the table you need to harvest animals. The butcher table. And why do you need a table to harvest animals? Okay, bears and deers I get, but raccoons. I kind of get that as well. Kind of see what they're saying with. The raccoons. Combat is absolutely just I think the combat's pretty good. I'd like to know what this person's um better survival games are. Especially since they said the scenery is the same. Love the game, but love to play multiplayer. Yes, agreed. Awesome survival zombie game. Yeah. Let's have a look at some of the negative views. See what people don't like. Lost my save game. This person's just lost their save game and now they're giving it a bad review. That's really that's your fault. Okay. Then give a game a bad review because you lost your save game. Game, sell my wishlist for a while. Same. I finally decided to buy it. Same. Since I had played Green Hell in the forest. Same. And thoroughly enjoyed both. Same. This time now it just seems a bit sluggish. Um, uh, and ripped off. Huh. I don't think so. It's hard to make like an original game, but I don't think it's ripped off of. Combat needs a serious rework. Big only lasts for about four fights. Well, that's because you're using the stone spear. You upgrade to the bone, which is quick. And when you upgrade to the steel spear, you'll definitely have to change comment there. It's just like the forest, but worse. It's actually not like the forest. Um, I love the forest, but it's not like the forest at all. Might be decent five years down the road. I think it will definitely be a very different five years down the road. That was on the 5th of August as well. I love this game and they add electricity that needs wires. I think adding electricity to a game is like actually different. Makes it different. I like that. What do you say? The next update you can get meat of dead animals and need a butcher's table to get any meat. Oh no, drag. I me drag. I had to carry a deer I killed and ran out of my own health because I couldn't access the meat. Did I bother to respawn? No, the deer is dead. I am dead. The game is dead to me. That is awful. Not badly programmed, the developer even responds quickly to grievances. Unfortunately, it's just quite fast recurring grind that becomes quite monotonous by the raw material and blueprint search. I mean, I sped, I, I did it really quick. You can speed run it. Plain rap. Yeah, well, that's a bad review. Wish this was multiplayer. Yes, everyone does. I love this game, but it seriously should be a co op multiplayer game. So I want to see that. So many of the things from the trailer did are not in the game. So this trailer is about two minutes long. So let's quickly go through and see if there's anything in the trailer that isn't in the game. I'm genuinely curious to see if there is something that I missed that's in the trailer that isn't in the game. By the way, the wavy effect you see is just the transitions they've used in the trailer.
And yes, you can put a storage container under the butcher's table if you did not know that. Just a quick note, there are Horde Knights, but they will be removed in the next version. So that's the whole trailer. Everything you see in the trailer is definitely in the game. I've used it all as well. Okay, all well that's in the game. That's in the game. I haven't seen these tents in the game though. Maybe that was an older version or something. That's in the game. So as you can see, everything from these pictures are in the game. However, I think the pictures with the tents in the background okay. are old. So therefore, they're not in the game anymore. However, they once were. And you never know, they might bring back the tents or something to do with the tents in a future POI update. Yeah, I think that was an older version. It's all in the game. Another terrible half-baked early access game that looks and feels like it was released 10 years ago. No redeeming qualities I can think of. The boring and empty world that is typical. The early access open world genre. And they don't even have an hour. They don't even have an hour. Have we seen anyone with like a hundred hours? Okay, so so far no one over a hundred hours with a negative review. No guns. Yeah, definitely there won't be any guns. The story will be coming. I haven't gotten to that yet. Choose your own uh okay. No, a lot of survival games you can't do that in. I think the only one is Raft. Yeah, if you have a slow computer it won't work. Yeah. Of a slow computer, your game won't work. Any game won't work. Rash. I hate ones like this because it's not constructive at all. You're going to roast the game. Like, it's not even a roast. Uh, knockoff version of the forest. Not worth the money. Definitely not. Knockoff. And he received the product for free. How did he get it for free? So he got it for free and now he's complaining that it's a knockoff version of the forest. As soon as you saw how long it takes to make a single Iron Ignit, I just had to quit. Well mate, you got 1.7 hours. The whole point is that the start of a game, or even in Minecraft, an Iron Ignit seems really difficult. A diamond seems really, you know, these things, they seem difficult and then you progress and you just have so many, so easy to get, you're like, Phew. Chuck them on the ground now. Don't even need them. That's the whole point. Might be a good relaxing game for some people, but it's just insanely slow pace. I've only done 12 episodes. I've already got power. Got the ore pump, everything. Nearly got every bit. I've nearly built everything. I think it's slow pace. I want to find some people with like a lot of hours. Okay, pros. Building is kind of fun. Various settings for a custom game experience. Bambi scream, give me the chills every damn time. The, the Bambi scream's a little annoying. Having to find the different technologies, it's so basic and fully thought out. Doesn't feel like there's a Bambi apocalypse or atmosphere. Same oh, game is very unfinished. It's a lot more work. I'd say it's halfway there. Well, if you get this for really cheap, then go for it. Yeah, well, here's early access. Yeah, nah, this person's definitely Australian. Yeah, nah, it's basic, boring, and grindy. 
Don't waste your time in their, their games out there. 0 0.2 hours, what? Game product of where clunky mechanics graphics is going to do. Does it make the engine otherwise avoid it? Well, it's not a scam product because they're releasing stuff and a lot of people play it. Well, not a lot, but yeah, it's not a scam product. So I kind of like reviews like this one. Got a lot of potential and then say why you have a problem with it without being mean. That's a pretty good review. Oh, here we go, 100 hours. A premise has been done before and far better. Between the horrid AI, the bugs. Oh, that must be a swear word. This person has stopped playing. 54.2 hours at review. That's interesting. So they played another 50 hours after that review. Bad game. Product refunded. Wow, okay, let's read, read this one. The controls still very outdated. I still have to drag and drop to micromanage my inventory or other similar games. I can just shift click or control click. Simplify the inventory managing. So this guy hasn't even played half an hour. Clearly he didn't play two hours because he got the product refunded. Crazy, I haven't seen a product refunded yet have to read this one over 250 hours of game and hard work down the drain after the march update mm. all my buildings and everything else is below the ground I can only see roofs lake i was on is gone everything is screwed up it was my favorite game of all time but now not happy they replied to this person i'm very sorry about this the new update has a new map and a fresh start is needed I'm getting ready to add a bunch of new POIs, story mode, and many more things that required this new map. So there will be a story mode. Yeah, so this person's just annoyed about the update and now they have to restart. Wait, what? 546 hours at review time. 776 hours on record. I bought this game based on gameplay examples of up until today, 3rd of the 9th, 2022. I have loved it today. There was today there was a new update which completely destroyed my save game. The map changed and my house is a on the underground. Yeah. So the developer complete dude. I if I was a developer, I definitely would have replied to this. 776 like a month. A solid month. Yeah, to start all over again. The game is meh. So I'll say, the game is extremely boring too. All I need is multiplayer. Everything I built is under the map. So it seems like all the things people are saying is, it's a copy of the forest or green hell. It's too grindy and they don't like the electricity. The AI sucks and the combat sucks. When the new update came out in March, people were very annoyed. They had to restart the whole save file and not be able to continue using that same save file. And the final one, there is no co-op or multiplayer in the game. Personally, I do not have a problem with any of these cons. I don't think it's a copy. It's not too grindy. I like the electricity. The AI doesn't suck. It's just random. The combat will get better, but the combat does not suck. It would suck if I had to start a whole new save file for version 13. However, I wouldn't give the game a bad review because of it. And of course, everyone wants co-op or multiplayer, but if they decide to make it a purely single-player game, then I'll be happy with that, as long as they make it a good game. If you enjoyed watching, please like and subscribe, and leave a comment on what you think of the game, or if you've left a review of the game as well. Click one of the boxes to check out my other infected videos, and I'll see you in the next infected video, or on my live stream. And thank you for watching.